Does an age gap matter in a relationship in the Philippines? Um, I'll be honest with you. Uh, for most people, no. The, the issue is uh, attitude more than anything else. There is a huge age gap. I've seen lots of expats that have this huge age gap, but I've also seen it with Filipinos. Um, it's quite common for people to remarry or get another girlfriend when, um, when their wife passes or relationships break down. And there's often a, a big gap, um, even with Filipinos. So it's quite normal but the the important bit here is forget the age um to a point um the the fact is it's the relationship that matters um if you're dating somebody that's young um you're gonna not gonna have much in conversation uh, because their life revolves around completely different things um you're not gonna have um general interests that you'll share because it's something that needs to evolve um, and develop and a lot of the time they've never had the opportunity to have an interest a real interest because um, they've been gone to school gone from school to college college to work so there may not be a interest developed there they may have one but it may take time to actually find what they're actually interested in um, and understanding what it means to be in a relationship. I find a lot of women under 25 quite immature. Um, the only ones I've seen that are really grown up are the ones I've had a hard life, um, but are still morally guided. Uh, those without the moral guidance I find are a nightmare. Um, not relationship wise not for me anyway but the just because of their attitudes and things like that they're you know you in the uk i call it council estate attitudes you know it's they have a bad attitude in many ways they have an immaturity complex uh they throw tantrums that sort of thing um so personally uh, i would never date anybody under 25 in the philippines um although I'm happily married anyway, I would actually want be interested in somebody over 30. Now, the reason I would go for somebody over 30 is because they've um, had a major relationship that's broken down at some point. They're often career and family orientated. They've got to that age where the, the body clock's kick, um, ticking, so they want to have family settle down. Um, they're also less immature, um, have a bit more direction in what they want in life. So I would say age gap sort of irrelevant to many people, but at the same time, be sensible with it. You know, the amount of guys that meet the girl of their dreams that is younger than their daughter, um, and after six months of being married and living together, they suddenly realize they don't cook, there is very little conversation, they're always on the mobile phone talking to their friends, there's pretty much no relationship there. And for me, that is where this sort of hits that stray, where um, basically that's not a relationship, um, which is why an age gap becomes relevant because you do not have enough um, connection with that person um, that's why I say personally I wouldn't be interested in anybody under 30 um, but I know many people are happily married that married somebody that's uh, 25 when they met and still happily married in five ten years but hey I know many people have failed as well and it's normally the younger age group um, that can be troublesome. The other ones, it gets into the family influence, which is where you have to be a bit switched on, but none of this really matters about the age, age gap. The age gap is about having a real relationship. 
because if you have the real relationship, the rest of it's irrelevant. It really is. Um, I know you get people talk about you behind your back, but in the Philippines, people talk behind your back anyway. Um, you will get people go, why, you know, to your wife, why are you with that old fart or whatever. That is normal. Um, people like to stir it. Um, they like to create issues. They like to talk behind people's backs. You have to remember, as a foreigner, you're the focus of amusement and entertainment for the area. Because the daytime TV shows are the same every day. There's not a lot going on around them. Um, so you're the focus. And if you let it bother you, it will bother you. But the reality is, just move up past it. A lot of these people are immature. They do it for the sake of doing it. Um, it's, com it's gossip, it's conversation piece. Um, but as long as you're happy, people see that. And that's when people move from gossiping to think, ah, oh, he's a nice guy. I wish I had somebody like that. I wish, which is the important bit. Um, and that's why I say well, the age gap really doesn't matter as long as you love each other, happy together and actually have a real relationship. Um, and that takes development, it takes commitment, it takes taking the time to understand what you gotta do to make this relationship work. If you don't, you're both gonna be unhappy. She'll be sat there waiting for you to croak. You'll be sat there wishing you were somewhere else with somebody else. And at the same time, you probably bought a house and everything else and now committed because your wife owns everything. So. Take your time, the age gap is not relevant, relationship is relevant. All right, thanks for watching.